it's just gonna be like a quiet me day. Thanks, Marth. <laughs> this was my first day on chisel plow last fall and I was super excited for it. Chisel plow was my first field work job. I learned how to do uh, when I first started helping on the farm and I really enjoy it. Good morning. I'm in my like happy place right now. I love this job that I'm doing today. It's chisel plow. It is a very relaxing job. I feel like I can clear my head in here. And when I first started, the guys were in a field like just across the way so I could hear all the radio chatter, but they just moved and I'm starting to lose them. And it's just going to be like a quiet me day. for some headlands. This is um, really the main part where I got to pay a lot of attention, make sure I'm not going to get too close to the fence lines and start ripping stuff out. But the tractor is moving pretty slow on chisel plow. It's only about six to seven miles an hour depending on where we're at. The other thing I've learned with chisel plow is it takes a lot of horsepower so uh, sometimes I struggle on the headlands, especially with more compacted areas, just making sure the tractor can get through it and it's doing a good job. Packing with all the drinks today, we have water, coffee, greens, and a bubbler. Just to cruise back to the car, I got called out to Great Park. So, you need to leave my peaceful camp to go get bossed around by the combines. I love it all, don't get me wrong. But I do love next time. I'll come back soon. I'll miss you. <laughs> I hopped right in the grain cart when I got to the field. They were falling behind with two combines and only one cart going. What's that? We go to town. Thank you, Mary Bell. 
out here just in time. Our Wiffles rep delivered lunch. Thanks, Brent. This was one of my favorite parts of the night. I stopped and went and picked up the kids from daycare and they still needed me to come back out to help finish through the night. And this is just a shot of my husband and his brother uh, moving our daughter from one combine to the next. And it just really shows like the extra effort that we go through on the family farm to have our families be part of it. And I'm just so grateful for it. It was a little nerve-wracking carting for two combines in the dark, not gonna lie. out there for quite a while but then the kids got tired and we had to head home for bedtime and it was another great day on the farm. 